where to get in, how to make yourself. Now, what is sushi grade fish? Well, it's actually just a marketing term designed by advertisers to sell you a fish at a higher price. Because there is no quality standard that dictates sushi grade fish has to be at a higher quality than other fish in order to be called sushi grade fish. The only thing that there is, is is a guideline made by the FDA which states that fish has to be frozen for a certain amount of time to kill off any possible parasites inside the fish in case it's eaten raw. It means that all fish across the United States and Europe that is labeled sushi grade fish or sold inside a sushi restaurant should theoretically have been frozen beforehand before it got to your plate. Now this makes it a bit difficult for restaurants because you ask them is the fish fresh and they say yes because no sushi restaurant is going to say no it's been frozen because that's not what you want to hear but also some may not actually know so for the ones that don't know it either could be that they receive their fish thawed from a sushi grade fish provider which is frozen beforehand and then given to them thawed or they just don't know and they go to the fish market every day and buy fish and chop it up and serve it out so this poses quite a risk when eating out because you can't trust what the waiters are telling you and you don't know what's going on in the back end. The FDA recognizes this and has made a table that lists every single type of fish there is and basically tells you whether the risk of parasite infection is high, low or negligible. An example would be tuna is negligible, flounder is high, salmon is low but there is an exception for Scottish farm salmon which is negligible so it lists all sorts of information and gives you loads of information in this leaflet so check this out on my website I've created a link for this so click on the link on the top left corner of the page and then you'll find another link on that page which will reference this it's a great resource at least if you go to a sushi restaurant then you know which fish types are fine to order and you pose less risk of getting infected by parasites which is always a great thing now even though some of the fish on here are negligible risk, I would still recommend freezing them because you don't want to find out that suddenly some parasite has evolved to live inside that fish and you're the first case to disprove this table of contents. To make such great fish, you need to buy great fresh fish. And to do this, you need to know how to recognize a good fresh fish when you see one. So the first thing you want to look for is you want to look for the eyes. You want to see a nice deep black pupil and you want to have the eye popping out slightly from the head of the fish. If it indents in, it's probably a bit old. So just don't be shy, just feel the eye and if it feels nice and plump like an eye should feel, then it's good. Now, other telltale signs to look for is you don't want a dried out tail. Now you want to look at the skin. You want to have a nice shiny, glistening, vibrant skin. You want to have it just just alive, it's gonna look alive. Next, when you feel the skin, it needs to feel moist, not slimy, that would be bad. It has to be moist, like slightly wet. All right, so next you wanna press it. If the skin bounces up and retains its shape, then that's a great sign. If it doesn't and it leaves a finger imprint, then that means it's probably been on a shelf for a while. Now you wanna look at the gills. You just lift it up and it needs to be a nice pink red. If it's brown, dark, dull, then it's not a good sign. You really want to have vibrant colors here. If you're still not convinced, give it a smell. A good fish will all smell of the sea breeze. It won't smell of fishiness. Okay, so this is great, how to recognize a whole fish as being fresh or not. But most fish are actually sold in fillets. So how do you tell if a fillet is good? Well, the first thing you want to look for, like the whole fish, is you will look for the brightness of the scales, if you can see them, and they are still on the fish. If not, then you want to go to the next thing, which would be check if it's slimy or moist. You want it to be nice and moist and just a light layer of water on the fish. You don't want it to be slimy or sticky. Then you want to just press the fish fillet. If it bounces back up and it's nice and perky, then it's great. If it Leaves a finger imprint, just walk away, you can buy another fish. All right, now the most important thing about buying fish is you should never go to the market with a preset idea of what you want. You should never go thinking, oh, I need salmon for tonight, or, oh, I want salmon sushi later on. What you want to do is you want to go and you want to see what's there and then decide what you want to make. Not the other way around, because otherwise you'll come there thinking, I need salmon, I need salmon, I need salmon. You see salmon, it doesn't look that fresh, but hey, I'm here, I need it, so I'll buy it. 
that's not the way to do it. You want to always get the best quality and just be flexible. You, if it's a different type of fish that you're used to, just try that, make it work. Don't be scared and don't come with a prefix idea. Okay, so now after buying the right fish, you have to chop it up into bits and you want to have fish blocks which are four fingers wide by two fingers deep. And then the longer the better, obviously, but at least four fingers long also. Then you want to vacuum seal these and vacuum sealing is really the best way to do this because if you don't, then you get freezer burn when you freeze your fish or you have migration of water out of the fish and to the outside because water actually moves when it's frozen. It's not a stationary object and it likes to go out of the food. So when you have less space around the outside of the food, it sort of stops the water from leaving it. Lastly, where to get your sushi grade fish. Now, you can get it in some supermarkets, thawed out, but not around Spain. So I order it online and the company I order is Kazari.co.uk and they supply me with sushi grade fish for free as long as I mention them in some videos. So that's awesome for me and uh, you can get the same fish as I do. So that's great. This is how they send it. They send it in a polystyrene box filled with chill packs. This is just basically an ice block to keep it cold during transport. And they send it vacuum sealed like this. This for example is salmon and it comes with the skin but detached so that you can tell how fresh the fish was before it was cut and frozen. That's great. And tuna also comes like that. This is bluefin but don't worry they may look a bit rotten. That's not the case. When you vacuum seal tuna what happens is the deprivation of oxygen actually turns the tuna a bit dullish brown. But when you take it out of the package and let it aerate it turns red again. Okay so the best way to thaw out sushi grade fish is just Leave inside the vacuum sealed pouch, put it inside a bucket of water for 30 minutes at room temperature, then pull it out, cut it open, put it in the fridge for three to six hours, just to completely defrost nice and slowly. Then use it in some amazing sushi. Now, if you guys want to get the same sushi grade fish as me and you live in Europe, you're in luck. You can get it from Kazaria.co.uk by clicking on the left right now. Now, if you're in America or somewhere else in the world, I don't know what the quality is. I've never ordered, so I can't vouch for these other companies. Now, I do know some American companies, so if you guys want to check them out, then click on the top left corner of the screen and you'll get taken to my webpage where I've listed them on there. Now, if you guys have ordered from these companies or kazari.co.uk and you've experienced either bad or good experiences, please let me know in the comment section below so I can know and be more informed about it. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the top right corner of the screen. And if you want to see more videos this second, because you enjoyed this one, then click on...